tutorial and uh, we are on a video series of creating a bookshop management in visual c++ okay we already seen how how to create the main function and now in this video i'm going to show you how to create a login function for the admin so login function is a critical part because it is a security uh, part of the uh, application so it has to be uh, create you know properly and it should not uh, if it is uh, any problem in the login so it, it will be a you know the safety issue of the application so okay uh, I'm going to show now so follow me and carefully and just follow the coding and I will explain you whatever why I am coding and what is the reason okay all right okay first of all uh, we need to work with the file uh, we need a file which contains usernames and passwords. Uh, so you can create in a text file or a, you know dat file or mm, you know dot file or any any other extension you can use it. But make sure uh, you save that file inside your location so it is easy to navigate. So here I have created and I have saved in admin text file. So you can create your own ex file extension or uh, any other dot file or text or anything and i have created some username and password here so the admin one t1 like that so the first uh, part is the username and the second part is a password uh, you can uh, change this order even if you want uh, you can give password here or username here but you should uh, you know uh, consider this one while you coding also you need to make sure which one is the password and which is the username which you are giving so if you follow my order so you can follow my coding but uh, if you follow some other pattern around also you should be careful while coding so you should also the twist around the coding uh, style okay now uh, to work with files in C++ we need to uh, use one header file called fstream so I'm going to include that in the header okay fstream okay sorry uh, fstream so and I, I need uh, one more header to work with string because the my, my username and password going to be uh, string so I need to include that as well so include string okay now I'm going to start my uh, function so this is going to be new function not include inside the ma main function I'm going to create a new function which calls as login function for admin so this is the comment I have made so you can give your own commenting so to you know uh, clean your code because uh, if you so if someone else or even in the future you later on uh, you uh, when you refer your codes so it should be clear and you know easy to uh, readable b b from you or by other users so it is easy to modify later on by you or some others uh, so this is the recommended uh, practice um, for all programmers so here I have already uh, commented my main function here which I didn't do before if you're creating only one function you don't need to do that uh, but if you're creating more than one function you need to comment so it's a good practice but it is not necessary but it's a good practice okay okay now let's start the coding func start the function uh, void login so in this login uh, so I knew I'm going to call this function as a login function in I'm going to give us two uh, reference parameters to pass through the username and password from the main function because I am going to call this uh, login function from the main function so I'm going to give a uh, username and password from the by the user input to this function to validate with the file so I'm going to gi give the two parameter uh, string it's a reference parameter so that m symbol is necessary for reference parameter string admin and string password okay string password so let's 
start the code inside this uh, okay now we need to give a declare two arrays okay input okay this is the one array for username with the 200 uh, maximum valid sorry value uh, so this array can hold up to 200 values uh, data which means so uh, this will contain the usernames from the files so i will show you how to take uh, read the files uh, into the array uh, then I, uh, we need to create one more for passwords as well so string password okay 200 mm, so these are the two variables arrays uh, which we are going to use for usernames and passwords Okay, I'm going to create now a boolean. Okay, starting with the false attribute. So this boolean uh, will be as a deciding factor whether uh, the username and passwords are matching or not matching. So if it matching, it will turn into a true. So we will assign that uh, later on. I will show you. Okay, then we'll create the integer. Okay. User file. If stream user file means to input the uh, text file, we call this one as a if stream. So to output a text file or any other file, uh, we need to use o OF stream. So this one is IF stream, not a if stream at all. It's a IF stream. So input file stream you can call like that, but it's an IF stream. Uh, the user file is a variable to hold the file uh, data from the uh, text file so we need we are going to open the text file into the this variable so this file dot open and start the parentheses and give the admin dot txt okay so this will open that this particular file into this variable if stream variable okay this i'm going to assign first two uh, data from the file to this uh, file variable okay here users users mean the username uh, this x means it's a zero index so the arrays are starting from the zero index so it's going to read so let's say it's open two files okay here uh, it means it's going to read the first username and password here username and password so if uh, the key if x keep increasing it will uh, go to this and this like this so it will go on to read on uh, next uh, data uh, if the if the x value of x is changes so to change the value of x we are going to create the loop so if you going to put in the loop so we need it will loop through all the data here because we need to match with all the data available as a usernames and password for that uh, we put in open uh, sorry creating a while function so while user file means uh, until uh, there is something uh, available in the text file this loop will continue so there is no uh, you know use in the looping through these cases here so once it is you know the file uh, end so it will end the loop so for that one we have given this condition so I'm going to comment that okay. from file and store them in arrays okay so read username and password from the file and store them in arrays so excuse me uh, all right and in this value sorry in this loop we need to give the update statement x plus plus so it will update the x uh, in each loop it will keep increase the number of value of x so it will loop through all the file so we give the x from two maximum value as a 200 because we have assigned the array for 200 as a maximum value so not to exceed the array limit okay so if it is array 
okay sorry if if it is a re when while when it's reaching the 200 so it should break the loop so we need to give that command okay then this is a file we need to keep updating in each loop so we give this code so in each and every loop so this x will increase here and while x so for example if it is a first round then already it's a zero so it will turn into one so it, it will be one here so the one it will grade this side the next round it will be two here and it will give this side so like that so most of you might be know this one so just if you don't know just take that out just uh, that is the process going to be in this loop okay okay in this loop uh, we read all the file to the loop sorry to the array uh, from the file uh, but we need to match with the user files which we are going to input by the users the username and password so we need to create one more loop so we will use the for loop okay for loop to use the match with the username and password with the existing username and password okay uh, all right so here i am going to give you a small coding to matching so for matching we need to give a if use if condition to match with the existing username and password if admin equals to username password equals password Okay, uh, so this admin means which, which I already show told you here is the this this parameter. So this parameters will be the input username and password by the users, and if this one matches with the existing username and password and pass uh, so username and password, so what will be what what going to be happen? So I will show you. I will we will give the coding so what to do if it is username and password and match see how okay username successfully logged into admin account username and we going to assign valid into a true valid attribute as a true okay this boolean will turn into a true if a uh, username and password match and we need to break the loop so once it is matches we don't need to go through the loop again so for that we give the break command here and if not matching so we need to do it that way as well so if not match if this one means so not true if a valid not true means so it doesn't go through this condition so if it doesn't go through this condition the valid will be false attribute because it is initialized as a false attribute so if it is false means the password and username match not sorry doesn't match so see out username and password invalid try again system post okay so the system post will give a notification to please enter the you know enter any key to continue so which will take back to the main menu uh, to you give the username and password again or we can give some other options would you like to try again uh, like that so we will do that later on uh, okay so in this video we have see the basics of the login uh, function but uh, still we did not complete this one so for that uh, I'm going to do in the next video so keep in that and uh, to check the how to complete this login part uh, you know how to call this from the main function how to validate the username and password and what will be the action after that and what if not matching so these things going to be in the next video tutorials so until that take care guys bye bye